everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to my studio. If you are new here, please remember to subscribe by clicking on the, the subscribe button uh, below in the description or on the Anne Makes in the corner of the screen. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can be notified whenever I post a video, whether that is a DIY video, a how-to crafting mixed media, product review, a uh, product demo, or a haul video. Whew, that's a mouthful. <laughs> so yeah, I do all that. Anything pertaining to uh, do it yourself, crafty, art, that's, that's my job. So yeah, today I have a Dollarama haul, a kind of smallish for me, smallish on, on, on my terms uh, haul. And I, thought I would share what I bought. I went into a Dollarama because this is a Dollarama that I don't go very often. And I think I've, I've spoken about this too. Um, I've exchanged that with several of you guys who watch my videos uh, regularly, that it's so strange that sometimes in, our, in uh, the areas that we shop, there could be more than one of these dollar stores in the same town or the same area and sometimes they're really like crappy <laughs> and other stores are really nice and it's just so funny because that's exactly what this store is i don't go to this one very often mind you this is the only one i had access to for years for years and it was it used to be a lot busier and it used to do better business because it was the only one around. But now there's competition and there's a, a nicer, a much nicer, much bigger store uh, in the same town. It's competing with stores uh, in nearby towns and they're really given up. So, sorry, but the store is messy. They... The shelves are often bare. It's just, I don't get it. I just don't get why they can't be bothered. But anyway, I went in there because I know that sometimes they still have stuff that the other store has already sold out of because it's so much more popular. So I went to see if there were any of the things I wasn't finding at um, my preferred store and uh, wanted to see what if they did have anything good. So they didn't have that much, but uh, I'm going to show you what I did find. So the only thing I've never seen before any warehouse, and I thought this is really interesting, is this. It is called a core kit. Get this. It says creating art from wine corks. So it's this. Well, doesn't this look strange? It looks like a bowl full of holes. <laughs> like really, the holes are too big to be like a colander or a sieve really. But it, that's not what it is. It's just this black metal bowl. And apparently this is intended for making art. And the idea is that you stick I'm going to show you here. You stick wine corks into the form and they have, I guess they make other like containers to do this because there's some ideas on the back here. I don't know. I've never heard about this. I've never heard of this product before. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to look it up because it, it's just I'm just curious about it now, but uh, yeah, so for some people that do uh, collect wine corks or have access to a bunch of wine corks, you know, some, some people may work in a restaurant where they serve wine or they work in a, uh, a bar or you might be a wine collector yourself and you collect, uh, you collect the corks. We're not drinkers at our house, so we, the few corks I've collected, I've already used for stuff, but <laughs> I just, so I have to get this anyway, because even if I don't have enough corks to do anything uh, artsy like they suggest with this, maybe I can come up with something else that I can do with this. 
And I just thought, well, worst comes to worst, this will make a great bowl for the barbecue. I don't know, whatever. But, uh, or I don't know, that, I just thought maybe this is good to make some sort of planter, like a topiary. I could put two together, make a fancy garden ball. I don't know. But and this, I believe this was $4. Do I still have the receipt? So it's a small haul because this is my receipt. It's not that long. Uh, yeah, the, this is a $4 and it, it says bowl on the receipt. So I picked that up. If you have any uh, ideas, tips, suggestions for my funky metal bowl, please let me know in the comments below. So this Dollarama had five packages of the gold, the metallic leaf flakes left. I was only able to reach four from the book because of the height. So I got the four that I could reach and these are a dollar 25 each. There's 15 grams in here. And every time I would see these, I would pick some up because I know that this stuff, this metal leaf stuff is super, super expensive, especially for us here in Canada. Uh, it, to buy this in an art supply store, to buy this stuff is ridiculously pricey. And yeah, so to see it at the dollar store, yes, please. Uh, and first of all, it, I know it's just pieces, but trust me, when you do this stuff, the sheets that it comes in, they, they break apart anyway. So yeah, this, this is fine with me. So I got those. Now something that I think is from last year or the year before are the strawberries. Uh, and this is a Christmas decoration. These, they're like, they have weight. They're like little beaded, this bag is a little dirty, the little beaded strawberries. They're like glued onto a plastic or styrofoam base, but they have weight. They're really well made. They're very pretty. You get 20, 24 berries on here for $2. So basically they make me think of very of the big wild strawberries I can find here sometimes in my, uh, my yard. So I thought these were cute. To me this doesn't say, again, this never says Christmas to me, but it says summer. So um, anyway, because they look like the wild strawberries we have here. Uh, they had the mini pom poms. They had all the color. Well, they had all the colors, so I got one of each: uh, the green, blue, pink, white, black, and gray. These uh, rusty brown colors, orangey, and uh, purple. So they just look all. They just look so pretty all together. And I just thought I better grab these. I know I've bought some in the past, and I haven't used them yet. But I just, I just know that I've, I'm going to come up with an idea to use these, and I'm not going to have enough. I'm going to run out, and I'm going to go back to the store, and they won't have any more. So I'm glad that this store, this is what they had. I bought it, dollar twenty-five each bag. It's a good deal. This store also still had some rolls of the sequin adhesive tape for $1.25. I really like the silver one, so I got two more of these to add to my stash. So I like to have a lot of something that I like because when I get an idea to make something, um, I hate running out. And often I run out of this, the, the, one meter or three feet or three meters that is on the roll or you know whatever there is and I could have used a little bit more so I know I always need to buy a little bit more product to get my project done. Another craft supply I picked up and that's all I really wanted was the craft stuff and actually I don't think I bought anything else anything that wasn't like craft related actually yeah that's that's all well i didn't have a lot of time actually so i had to go pick up someone um 
<clears throat> I got these alphabet stickers. I had not seen the the gold ones. These are really shiny foil gold sticker letters. They're really big. Eight sheets on here of alphabet stickers. It looks like you get at least two of each letter. They're the uppercase. These are $3. There's really big letters. These are great for posters, making signs, or if you want to make like a big um, monogram on something, you know. So I just thought they were really, really good for $3. Yes, please. And they had, they had two packages of the Mombi sheets, the papers there that fold out that many of us have been finding all over the country. And I, I wasn't sure if I had this one already, so, I, but I bought it because I think it's still a really good deal. These are, I think they're $4, aren't they? Yeah, these are $4 for the me and my big ideas, large paper sheets. Uh, yeah, and these are the colors. They're, they're a lot like gift wrapping, so they're great for gift wrapping. They're great for covering books. They're, this looks a lot like stuff that would be in my happy planner. Um, yeah, there's lots of things too. When you're a crafter, we do color or an artist that does collage. Yeah, you can never have enough paper. So got that. And finally, yeah, I think this is it. Uh, the last thing I hauled from a Dollarama is these. I've never seen this at any other store. Hanging loops. It's a four pack. It's by uh, the Maurice. It says Maurice brand there. And all it is, is it's like, I guess it's adhesive hooks that you stick to the wall and they have a, like a rubber loop and they, they show here like hanging towels or, and I just, I have no idea what I could possibly use these for, but they're very colorful. And uh, I, I don't know, maybe I could use the blue and green one in my boy's bathroom for something. I'm not sure. Um, maybe I could use the pink one in my craft room. The yellow one I could just stick in the garage or something, but I don't know. if they're, I don't know exactly what I'll be using these for, but I just thought they were really interesting. And I wanted to see what they were all about. So yeah, I get, got these hanging loop sticky back hooks and they're they are two dollars but maybe you you you're looking at this and like oh i could use this for such and such a thing and it's turning on a light bulb in your head and good if that is and if you have any tips ideas comments suggestions about this leave them below please and that is it that's really it that's a very small dollar rama haul for me i know <laughs> That's all I got. I had to go to Giant Tiger too. Excuse me, I went to Giant Tiger, which is right beside this Dollarama because they had their chocolate milk on sale and my boys love the chocolate milk. And I wanted to I'll look for socks and just uh, a bunch of things that you can buy. I was, yeah. So I bought chocolate milk, socks, and Cheetos. That's it. <laughs> well, that was my shopping on Tuesday. So uh, stay tuned because after this, I'll be filming the Dollar Tree haul that I did yesterday. So I hope you like this video. If you have any, any comments, any suggestions, please leave them below. Please give this a thumbs up if you were entertained at least. And uh, until next time, take care of yourself and stay crafty. Bye.